Hello everyone. In this video, we are trying to learn to generate Modis and DVI time series animation in Earth Engine. This is the amazing thing we can do in Earth Engine, and I'm trying to interpret how it is done. The codes are adapted from the community section from the Earth Engine guides. The very first step here is to select NDVI from the Modis data product. And then we select the country of which we want to develop the animation. For this demonstration, we are selecting the country Nepal. And we also want to draw the rectangle that covers the entire country. So you can see here the rectangle named region, and that is covering the entire country. We also want to group interannual image data. Uh, that represents the 16-day composite uh, window as a list. And for that purpose, we add the uh, data of your properties to all the images that is done by dot kit system time start and with dot kit lit method. This adds the data field to all the images. And we also have the other collection that is filtered that is done by dot filter date. And we have here we have the two different dates, start and end date. And from these two different collections, uh, we want to match the images that are present in the uh, in both the collections. And those uh, images that are matched are set. After that, we apply dot uh, median that is done by e dot reduce dot median. Uh, it applies uh, median reduction to all the matched uh, data field collections or the matched images. Then we have the visualize and parameters defined. We have minimum and maximum values. Uh, this comes uh, from the data sets. And we have the palettes, you know, different colors. So this is this was the uh, very first beginning process. We selected the NDVI. We have the um, country selected, we have uh, two different um, collections from which we select the uh, images that are presented in both of them, and we apply the median reduction. And then we have the visualizing parameters that we apply later. And then we come to the label. So for labeling, uh, this is making the uh, animation more appealing. And for that, we have the different packages. Now for this purpose, we have style, details, text. And here we have created RGB visualization uh, along with uh, different other uh, levels for the animation frames. Uh, the first one here is we want to have the title. And for title, we have the title. We want to have the title as NDVI time series animation. And we have some scales and here we have the uh, geometry level. This is this point here. Uh, and this point, from this point, we want to have that uh, title appear. So this is the point from which the title will appear. And that has been done by text.draw. So this text comes from this here, this package. And here we have the level or the strings that we want to appear. We have the point. Where uh, we want it to appear and some scale and some font size. And we also want to have the date zone. And this is the other way to uh, make the appear, make the text appear or make the string appear uh, in a in, in other way. So here we have the region. So this is the entire region. And here we have some position thing that helps uh, the strings to appear. So this is something, this is uh, acting as uh, X and Y coordinates. So, so this is uh, done by uh, hit and trial, uh, maybe hit and trial error method. So we do it multiple times and see uh, where we like it to appear. So this is again done by text.draw. We have the system index. This is the date. And here we have the position, some scale and Text visualization that is that was defined only this text means was 
is defined earlier here. Similarly, we want to have the gradient bar for that. Here we have drawn a rectangle, very a very small rectangle. And we do that by style. Uh, this style comes again from the package here, style. And that we want to do it by dot draw. Uh, and we have minimum and maximum values. Uh, we have levels and we have font size. So this is the properties for the uh, gradient bar. Similarly for the level that will appear above the uh, gradient bar, we have some anti value level, level here, and we have uh, we we do that by again by text draw. We have the levels. We have the um, position where it would appear. So this is the position. And we have scale and font size. And finally, we uh, visualize the image by visualizing parameters uh, that we defined earlier. We clip uh, the entire images or uh, in the entire NDVIs of one of those area. That is our country. Uh, that is the country here. And for all these uh, levels of all these text to appear, we do that by dot blend each time. So we have here title text. Uh, date label, uh, gradient bar, and NDVI text. So we do that by each and every time by dot plane, dot plane with the uh, variable name. And we in the function like this. So this is the uh, visualizing uh, that would appear. And finally, we have the uh, GIF uh, visualizing parameters. And this is easier now. We have the region selected. This is the entire region. Uh, some dimensions and some coordinate difference system. Uh, this is the code here, and the frame would appear as maybe the more the more frames, the more it appears, uh, it, it moves quickly. So we have only two frames per second, so it would appear something slow. Uh, so it would be easier for us to uh, see and maybe mo much more visualize what's going on uh, slowly. So we can print the URL uh, from which you can get the uh, animation. And we also can render or print the animation in the console. So I have already run this and we get something like this. Here we have some levels and if time series animation, we have the moving dates and we have the gradient bar with some levels. And this can also be opened. Uh, so here we have the link. This can be opened to the next tab. So you can see we have the animation of NDVI. So this is it. And we can save this by just like any other uh, images or any other uh, videos by right click and we can save it as save images. So this was the uh, quick interpretation of how the NDVI uh, time series animation can do. I want to note that uh, one thing here. Uh, at the very first beginning, uh, there is some uh, grouping of internal image state, uh, image 16 day. So I was thinking um, it would have been done by one of this way by the filter date. And this whole process is something uh, while we do this, the animation appears a little uh, smoother by this process. So uh, if we want to do that by dot filter date and select one of those uh, images, then the images appear a little uh, rough and a little quick. So this is the uh, nicer way to do. Or maybe there are other reasons as well. It is to uh, represent the 16-day uh, um, NDVIs as a list. But that is also the reason uh, the images appear a little uh, smoother uh, by this process. So I hope this was helpful to you. Um, uh, if there are any questions, please let me know in the comments. So thank you for watching.